Good morning, believers. Good morning. It's your brother J.D. Nyjah. Word of Truth, J.D. Nyjah. Jeff DeLoach. Bolshevika State Beach. We are in September. Already. <coughs> Mid-September. September 14th. So we've been... Um, before I get started, all praises, honor, and glory to our Heavenly Father. On the unspeakable name, Yahweh, the Tetragrammaton, who is the Adonai, the Master. Coming in the name of His only begotten Son, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. The only one born of the Father. Not Joseph, people. Not Joseph, GMS. Under the guise of the Holy Spirit that is this comes from the Father of Spirits the Heavenly Father, the Adonai the Master um, before I get started Heavenly Father bless this message lead people to understanding because <clears throat> in the Bible you say uh, my people perish for lack of knowledge and we want to know as much as we can so we can have your wisdom and your will be done, Amen so, man, everywhere I turn today, in these days, I hear nonsense. I was listening to um, one of our God channels here in California, channel 740, K-Bright, I think it is. And the message was from... Um, What's that guy's name? Uh, I just got thrown off my game. One of my customers called, so I'm, it's going to take me a minute to get rolling here. Um, Alistair Bag. Alistair Bag. he's a Irish guy, I think, Scottish. Good Bible teacher, good pastor. But um, what happened is he, he was doing a message on wisdom. And when, you know, when the <clears throat> message is over, the the host of the show comes on and says, yeah, we need to know about wisdom. Wisdom is this and wisdom is that. And he said, um, we know that um, something about we don't need knowledge. And I was like, what, what is going on in this world as far as Bible teaching? Um, there's a lot of people that really shouldn't be opening their mouth about the Bible. There's a lot of them. Everybody wants to be a Bible scholar, but not hardly any of them are. And so we've been going into this. Um, what's an Israelite? What's an Israelite believe? How's an Israelite function? Um, how do they roll? So I can rebuke this guy right away. Wisdom gives life. I opened Ecclesiastes because I heard Casey over it. Um, if you've ever listened to his channel, Enter the Stars, he's a he's a little demon. He's a little demon. And um, I've already told him three times, dude, reincarnation and regeneration is biblical. Last warning. So he, I heard him say it again. And so um, we're... Probably going to go into that a little bit again because this is one of those one of those mysteries that um not so much GMS taught me but GMS confirmed it in the scriptures because I always felt that it was came in my spirit that I'd been here before and um, I've known this I've felt it for over 20 years and I now I've known it for about four or five that um for sure I've been here before a lot of people have I don't know if everyone I don't know where the spirits go if they don't come back here they got to come back for judgment so I I don't know who, who gets to go up and not come back down that's what that's what judgment is right here it says it 
Um, in Ecclesiastes 3, 16, and moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. That pretty much says it all in one half sentence. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. The place of judgment is in the place of justice. Wait. In the place of justice, there was wickedness. Because it continues. In the place of judgment, there was wickedness there. In the place of righteousness, iniquity was there. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. Where's Where do we get judged? Under the sun. Where, where's the place under the sun? Right here. Is there any other place you know that's under the sun? Besides right here? So where do you get judged? It's appointed once for a man to die. And everyone stops right there. No, no, no. It's appointed only once for a man to die. But what's it say after that, bonehead? Sal um, I'm I'm getting tired of... Um, trying to teach things that should be known. And if you're on this channel, um, you should be believing these things by now because we can't move forward if we're stuck in reverse. It's pointed once for a man to die and then the judgment. What's the judgment? The spirit goes up. The Lord judges the spirit. The spirit comes down, comes through the womb again in another body. It's not so much the body gets created again. It's the spirit. And I said in my heart, Ecclesiastes 3.17, let's just, let's just go through some wisdom today. So we we're talking about what an Israelite is. An Israelite has the wisdom of God. At least... The spirits that were made to have that that wisdom, they have it. The spirits that weren't designed to have it, they can't grab it. And they I'm I'm thinking Israel can grab it. Anyone that's Israelite can turn away from their wickedness, grab the Bible, listen to some good teachings, ask God in their own heart and find answers. I think that's another trait of an Israelite is the ability to um, either uplift your spirit from regeneration to regeneration or to destroy your own spirit. And so when we see these two thirds, these wicked um, Israelites, these are the ones that rejected God all the way back in Exodus and, and had the golden calf and we're saying, we don't want that God. He's scary. We want one that we can control. God is scary. And that's why... <laughs> I could say a lot of things on that one. That's why Benjamin was called son of my sorrow. Because Benjamin knows how scary our Heavenly Father is. He ain't no joke. And I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. What is this time? The time for every purpose and every work is the time that you have to come back and think about what you did. Your spirit has to embrace God and go, what is going on here? And he'll start slowly answering you. Well, so he doesn't, he doesn't draw you out a diagram. You've got to figure it out. That's what knowledge is. And that's why when the guy says, oh, you don't need knowledge, you need wisdom. You can't have knowledge without wisdom. Let me go to it. Let, let's finish over here. And I said in my heart, so God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. What's his purpose? His purpose is to try to get you to, to understand him, to apprehend him, to know him, right? 
So every time you come back, you're supposed to be going, something's a little strange here. What's going on? And then if you ask the question, ask, and it will be given to you. I'm trying to teach you the Bible, people. I'm not trying to teach you religion. I'm not trying to teach you um, Jew Judaism. I'm not trying to teach you Christianity. I'm trying to teach you the Bible. What's the Bible? It's the, it's the word of God. It's what he's going to tell you. I'm trying to tell you what he's going to tell you. That's all I want to do is, that's all I can do. If I do anything other than that, I'm in big friggin' trouble. Do you think I'm not scared to death? I'm scared. I, he's giving me a lot of responsibility. He's like, no, you got to you gotta say it, dude. I don't care who hears it, really. These guys weren't doing their work anyway. If you're here, you are blessed. If you're here listening to this channel, I'm one subscriber away from 50. Thank you, everyone, for anyone who's heard these messages. Push the subscribe button. If I hit 50 um, subscribers, that'll be wonderful. <laughs> People are going for 50,000, 5 million. I'm going for 50. The Bible said it would be that way. In the last days, there'll be mockers and scoffers who will turn from the truth. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so we were um, reading in Ecclesiastes. We're in the... We're in the wisdom books because when it comes right down to it, if you read Ecclesiastes, you're going to go, damn, I think I'm just going to go out and work my butt off, be good to people and love everyone as best I can and enjoy my life. I'm here under the sun. Um, if I can, and, and Solomon says it over and over again, it's all vanity. Um, nothing, nothing you have here you can take with you except your heavenly treasures, the things that make you know him and, and your brother who's gonna, who came down to save you from yourself. He's not saving you from Satan. He's saving you from yourself. Satan's only, <laughs> Satan's only the game that, makes you want to play um, certain styles of life. He's not, he's, he's yourself. You've got to do it. And that's what people don't understand. When, um, when Bob Marley, Marley says, um, mighty God is a living man. You can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. Mighty God is a living man. That's saying you got to find the God in yourself. Are you a good, are you good or are you not good? Are you wicked? Are you God? Are you God or are you bad? You got, you be God, you'll be good. You be bad, you be wicked. Are you God? Are you God? Are you good? Do you have forgiveness in your heart? Do you have love? Do you have the ability? You know, forgiveness, people think, oh, I, I'll forgive them. No, forgiveness is saying, um, you've got to be forget, be able to apologize is more important. Shit, I didn't know I hurt you. I, I, I feel so bad. I wanted that so bad and I didn't even think about you. I'm ashamed. I didn't even think about you. That's forgiveness. And every, if everyone had that in their heart, there wouldn't be any, um, I forgive you because the person is already knows that they did you wrong and they won't do it again. And that's what good and God and, and all this is. That's the bottom line. Are you hurting people on purpose? And if you're hurting them, are you hurting them for the right reason? Spare the rod, spoil the child. You 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 come down on your children. 
so that you teach them to be sorry. I'm sorry, Daddy. You still get in a week's um, you're still in your room for a week, whatever it's called. I didn't get much of that, so my dad didn't. He spared the rod and he spoiled me. But I think to a certain extent, um, the Lord wanted me to follow him and not my dad. And so my dad stepped back and let the Heavenly Father be my father. And that's why I am where I am today is by um, asking of God instead of my dad. Instead of Joseph, I asked the Heavenly Father. Joseph, I had to, the Lord told Joseph, don't you know he has to be about his father's business? And my dad said, so be it. And he let me be. And um, the Lord's protected me through a lot of dumb ass maneuvers. <laughs> so as an Israelite, you got to know also that um, either win, win or lose, you always win. And that's part of being an Israelite is knowing that losing is part of the winning. And right now, it's another one of those times where it feels like it's hard to enjoy, like the Bible says, enjoy every day under the sun. You should enjoy your life. That's what that's what he gave us this time for is to enjoy each other, enjoy your children. There's some interesting passages that I was reading in here. Um, uh, Uh, let's just keep reading because this, this is all good stuff. There's all a bunch of good stuff here. Um, and I said in my heart concerning the estates of the sons of men that God might manifest them and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. So we're, we're basically animals down here trying to have a spiritual experience, but we're basically just flesh and blood. Um, in the estates of the sons of men... That God might manifest them. He made these these humans with no knowledge of him. So that the ones that do have knowledge of him will go. Wow, they're like animals. They don't get it. Look at the look at them. They're they're interspecies predators. They're preying on their own people. They must not be like me. But but we look the same. I'm a beast, they're a beast. Why am I different? And that's what Solomon's saying right here is the sons of men have a certain type. They're manifest as beasts. I've said this before. It's This is where the mysteries are, people. You can listen to GMS. You can listen to all these wacky, tacky Christians. You can laugh. But read, read Ecclesiastes and tell me what you find. You'll find that there's Three different types. There's heathen beasts. There's churchgoers, ones that are beasts that are seeking God. And then there's Israel who supposed to know God. Because God's the only one that knew them. They're the only ones that know God. Know him. Know. For real. For real, for real. Christians can get to know God very deeply in their own spirit, in their own heart. And that is such a blessing. That is like, that's the mirror, that's part of the miracle. True blue spectacle. 